Hi, my name is James Holroy from Pocket Survey Cloud Surveying Software. Welcome to this short demonstration. I'm going to show you how the HHSRS inspection software works and how to create your inspection reports quickly and easily. Contact us to get your low cost trial, where you get your first month's subscription at a reduced price. The first thing to mention about the app is that it's designed for mobile devices, but also works great on desktop computers. There's only one interface to learn, which looks the same on all devices. So you can use it on Apple or Android, tablets and phones, as well as desktop computers, such as Windows, Mac and Chrome. So let's look at the HHSRS inspection I've already done to give you an overview of what comes out at the end. On the buildings list, I tap on a building and you'll see the front page photo and inspection status. And then below that, you've got some buttons. We can add hazards. We can copy the building information. There's a button to create the inspection report and want to open the generated report. If we scroll down, you'll see which client this report belongs to. That is if you have multiple clients. If you're a council or housing association, you can turn off the clients feature in the app setup. The inspection details section shows the inspector, inspection date, inspection time, the type of inspection, followed by some free format descriptive notes. The building details section shows more information about the building. There's an optional building info sections to capture extra general information about the property. Of course, the most essential part of the report is the hazards section. You will see all the hazards inspected if you tap the view button. And you can add more hazards using the add button. Finally, towards the end, you've got general building images such as floor plans, certificates and any image you want to add to your report. If you want to make changes to the inspection, select the edit button. Let's scroll back to the top of the building record. To create your PDF report, choose the Create Report button, and when the report is ready, select the Open Report button. Let's look at a typical report in more detail. The front page is branded with your logo and your address. Then you've got your front photo of the building, plus an optional trade logo. Then you get an automatic table of contents, which is all hyperlinked, so you can jump to the different sections quickly. The report contains quite a lot of detailed information, all created at the click of a button. Then you've got an introduction page. Now all these phrases can be edited in the app, but we'll come to that later in the app setup. The overview section of the report shows inspection details, optional client details, building details. And if you're using the Remedial Works add-on feature, you can see the total cost of the Remedial Work for the hazards in this building. And you've got a breakdown of the status of all the hazards. If you've enabled the building an additional information feature, you can capture a lot of general information about the building. All of this is configurable in the app setup. Then there's an HHSRS executive summary showing the category one hazards. Then for each hazard, detailed information covers. Description, location, vulnerable group, ideal conditions. Hazard status, defects, action recommendations, and any notes you've added. You can have up to four photos for each hazard. If you've chosen the works add-on feature, remedial work details will be listed below the photo. A quick note here, you can also choose a scoring feature if you prefer to use likelihood and outcome to assess your hazards. This is useful if you're a government counsel or enforcement officer. Each hazard is shown in a similar format. Notice rather than displaying the old fashioned yes, no answers. We list out defects and actions chosen from the extensive knowledge base. This is much more useful and easier to understand. Your clients will love the format. Incidentally, we also offer a report add-on that will automatically produce your enforcement notices, such as an improvement notice or a prohibition order. You've got your disclaimer and limitations section. Bear in mind that all these phrases in your report can be set up within the app to customize it to your needs. The quality assurance statement will show the inspector's signature, and if you've chosen to use quality checkers, their details as well. At the end, you have your four plans and any additional building images you've included in the report. If you want to save your PDF report, tap the download button to save it to your storage area. Let's close the PDF report and get back to the app. We can return to the buildings list by tapping the buildings icon at the bottom left. So let's start the new HHSRS inspection to see how easy it is. Tap the add button at the bottom right of the buildings list screen. You'll see a scrollable form with several fields to fill in. Most of these will be user configurable menus to speed up data entry. First, you can choose a client or if you want to add a new one. Let's add a new client organization. Type my client, then tap use. Then you can either add a client contact name or pick an existing one. You can store other information about your client, which is helpful if you want to contact your clients on site. And so you have a little client database. Then we can choose the inspector. You can have different classes of inspectors, like more powerful administrators. 
You can also have a client login where a client can access their reports via a client portal. Choose an inspection date and an inspection time. And then add some inspection notes if you want to. The inspection status menu helps you track the workflow of your reports. We use a color coded pipeline approach where you go from schedule through to completed work. Remember, you can add this information on site or do it in the office if you prefer. Now let's add some building details. You have a place to add a building reference or you can use a report reference instead. Adding addresses is easy since Google will search for the address if you start typing it in. You can import addresses in bulk using the import feature within the app. The building name is used to identify different buildings at the same address. Choose a building type. You can add an optional short description of the building. It's a good idea to allocate the report to a town, especially if you work nationwide. Choose a building age band. And then a building category. Your reports will look much better with photos and Pocket Survey makes this easy for you. So let's take a building photo. I'm going to choose one that I've already taken. Because I'm using a desktop computer, but you would snap this on site, directly from your camera. That's the photo added to the front page of your report. You use a similar approach when taking hazard photos. When I to choose save the building record, you'll notice it's prompting us to choose which inspection type to use since it's a mandatory field. Choose an appropriate inspection type, then save to add your report to the buildings list. Now we've set up the first part of the report. We can now inspect the hazards in the building. Let's start by entering information about damp and mold growth. So we'll tap into the building record to view it, and you'll see the information we've entered so far. What we're going to do now is add a hazard. We tap the Add Hazard button to load the scrollable data entry form. You should establish a location first, so you should choose a particular floor. And then, optionally, you can specify a room or area. You can tailor the list of locations to suit your needs in the app setup. Then, you choose the hazard. Next, we choose the hazard category. And then, Enter some free format notes if you wish. You'll notice extra checklists are shown. We can justify the category 1 hazard by choosing some defects causing the hazard. You can look through these and tick all the relevant ones. You also can search the list to make it easier. For example, type damp and you will see the filtered defects. You can also choose some actions that would rectify the hazard. Choose an optional action priority if you wish. Let's take a photo. You can take up to 4 photos per hazard and area. The app will automatically launch the camera on your mobile device. However, I'll pick one from my computer because I'm demonstrating the app on a desktop. You could take more photos in a similar way. So let's the hazard done. Choose save. Once you've inspected all the hazards in your building, you can now create your PDF report. You tap into the building record and choose the more prominent create report button. You will be prompted to confirm. It takes about 30 or 60 seconds while the software generates the report in the background. You can continue to work on other inspections while you are waiting. The open report button will appear when your report is ready. So far we've covered the essential aspects of creating a HHSRS inspection report. As you've seen, it's quick and easy to do and produces a fantastic client report. But there's lots more to the software. For example, if your client wants a costly list of remedial works, you can use our costly works add-on feature. When we looked at the report earlier, I mentioned that you could also use the government scoring feature. This isn't something everybody chooses to do, but sometimes it's useful if you're an enforcement officer or council. The most revolutionary part of all the Pocket Survey apps is the App Setup feature, where you can customise menus and report sections to suit your needs. You will see several configuration areas. Please look at our longer training video for more details on this feature. We can also control the report designed to customise the PDF report to your needs. Now, remember to get your low-cost trial if you're not already a Pocket Survey user where you will get your first month's subscription at the vastly reduced price. Remember, there's no obligation to carry on your subscription after the trial month, and you've got access to the full software, including free training and support. If you don't like the software after that, that's no problem. Just let us know, and we won't bill you, and you can continue your search for a digital solution for your HHSRS inspections. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about any of our Pocket Survey apps, Please visit our website pocketsurvey.com where you'll see lots of information about all our building and inspection software. So that's the Pocket Survey HHSRS inspection software in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Bye for now and see you soon.